now we are going to discuss about the different modes ok. First bit set reset mode and IO mode. Uh, please take your pen and pencil. So, we can say mode can be divided into two modes. One is bit set or reset mode. Another one is we can say IO mode, input output mode. In IO mode, it supports three kinds of IO mode. One is mode 0, another one is mode 1 and the other one is mode 2. So, in previous lecture or previous session, I told you port A, B, C, all these three ports can support mode 0, but only B and only A and B port support mode 1 and only port A support mode 2. Once again, this is normal input output. This is handshaking in or out and this is bidirectional IO. So, these are the modes ok. So, let us have the discussion on bit set reset mode. What happened on bit set reset mode ok. On bit set reset mode only one pin of port C will be set or reset. That means if we consider we have this my 82C55 peripheral interfacing IC port A does not work, port B does not work, only port C, any pin of port C like this pin can be set or reset either 1 or 0 ok. So, what happened? Actually, we have a control word, control word but control or control register inside the peripheral IC. Okay. This control word can be programmed according to the data of this control register, this device work, this IC works. Okay. So, First one is bit set reset mode. In this mode, actually, what happened? In this control word, let us have uh, write the control word here. As I told you, it's an eight bit control word. If it contains 0 that means it is working in bit set reset mode, but if it contains 1 that means it it will be used in by direct uh, IO mode ok. So, if we set 0 here and for this one if we say this is PC 0 and this is PC 7 that means 0 1 2 3 PC 3. 3 means 3 means 1 1 0 1 1. So, we will put 0 1 1 in this 3 place and if we want to set it like if we want to give the uh, get the output 1 then we will give 1. So, if our this control register contains this value from the next time only PC3 will provide 1. This will not work, this will not work. So, what is the sequence? That means first processor is saying I want to write something. So, it gives 0. It said write where this control register that means A0, A1 
a0 a1 is 1 1 this a to c5 will get ready to get the control register what is the value it will come through the data bus okay which value this value 0 don't care don't care don't care you can use 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 so this is, you can put 0 1 whatever you, you put here it, it will not care this a to c5 will not care this 3 bit okay whatever you say it whatever you give no problem whatever the micro microprocessor say no problem okay so when this data will come here after that after that after that only pc3 will getting one for all the way until i change this control word if you want to have zero on pc7 like not this one i want a zero on pc7 then our this control word will be like zero of course it should be zero for bit set reset mode then one 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 and this part should be zero for this control word for this control word after writing this control word from next time or on next cycle or after that pc7 will be always zero so this mode is called bit set reset mode Okay, now what happened in mode 0 and 1? You can see mode 0 is simple input or output. In this mode, port A, port B, port C is used as individually. Features, what is the feature? Output are latched, input are buffered, not latched. Input means when you will give the input, it will get the input. For output, when you will give the output like 1, it will continuously giving one until you change it as i told you on last session okay for latch once you have given some value it will be continued until you change this one okay you just given one and withdraw the value like floating you can make it floating okay then it will it will be continuously giving you one until you change it so that's why it is called the Output are latched, inputs are buffered. Input is buffered means you will just get the input from the device and it will just, uh, how to say, uh, correct the uh, voltage and give inside the inside it to C55. Okay, now this is a simple I/O. Mode zero means normal output input output mode. Okay, either in or out. Okay. Mode 1 means in this mode handshaking in or handshaking out. You can see in this figure printer is giving or oh, computer com, computer or 8 to C5 through 8 to C55 is giving some data to the printer. So what computer do? First computer knock to the printer. Printer, I want to give you some data. Okay. Then now printer will respond. Maybe printer was busy with some other printing work. So it will after some time it will say, okay, now I'm acknowledging you. What what do you want to say, Mr. Processor? Okay, then processor will say, processor will start giving the data by using the data bus. At that time, printer will acknowledge the computer, like don't give me any more data by using the busy bit. Okay, so he will say, don't give me any more until I receive the whole data. After receiving the data, okay, now it will deactivate. Okay, so this is the way. So, three uh, handshaking mode. This mode is called handshaking. So, handshaking either in or out. In mode one, either handshaking in or handshaking out. But for mode two, it's bidirectional I/O. That means I am assigning this port bidirectional. Anytime I want, I can give something to out, and anytime I want, I can give some in, like our touch screen. Okay. At the same time, we are watching, at the same time, we can give input to the uh, mobile phone. Okay. So, 
this is a bidirectional so let us read the text in this mode allow bidirectional data transfer over a single 8 bit data bus using handshaking signal the feature is possible only group a that means other two groups don't support it now what happened in mode 0 mode 0 means like we have port a 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 port b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 port c 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay i want to have some NEDs in this port. I want to use LED on this port and maybe in this port too. In this port too. And I want to have some uh, switch. input connection on group C okay maybe perfect so this port port A port B port C okay so port A is using for normal mode 0 output port B is also using for normal output and port c is using for input normal input just switch by using switch 0 or 1 okay so for this kind of configuration is called in mode 0 okay so in mode 0 we can use all these ports all these three ports for either in or out but it's normal in or out okay not handshaking Okay, handshaking is necessary for keyboard or mouse, this kind of peripheral uh, devices. Okay, so this is the configuration of mode 0. Now, let us have the discussion on mode 1. What happened in mode 1? In mode 1, in port A, instead of using maybe we can use here a keyboard. just consider it as a keyboard maybe we can use a printer here think it as a printer okay and on this mode port c cannot do any in or out it just will be used for handshaking okay handshaking for port a and handshaking for port B. Okay, so if we redraw this figure, we can say port A. Okay, we are using printer for port A. Printer in this time. PC upper will used for handshaking. I am mentioning this thing as a handshaking. Maybe port B we would like to use a keyboard like a keyboard. Okay. So port C lower, port C lower will be used for handshaking. Okay, so port C cannot be used for I operation in this mode 1. But mode 2, port B will remain in the same, but port A can be used for bidirectional, like in and out at the same time, in and out. We can use printer or even we can use here as touch screen. We can use a touch screen here.
just con consider it as a touch screen okay okay i am going to give you the detailed discussion how bidirectional work how this uh, handshaking in or out works on our next session okay thank you